Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your beloved Moon Goddess Christy. <laughs> and today I am going to show you easy, quick ways to use it, use this powerful full moon energy to manifest what you want into your life. Okay, but before I start, happy Halloween, happy All Saints Day, happy Samhain, Happy New Year to all my witches and Wiccans and Brujas and Brujos. Happy, what am I missing? Day of the Dead. Um, happy Full Moon. Happy Saturday. <laughs> okay, so before I start the rituals, well, showing the rituals, I'm actually not going to perform the rituals, but I'll show you how to do them. Um, I'll just explain a little bit, a little bit about this this blue moon what it is and just a quick thing okay this moon this full moon is called a blue moon because usually we only have one occurrence of a full moon per month and this month we have two full moons and this is why it's called a blue moon um, it's not necessarily for the appearance it's not actually blue but um, it, we have two full moons falling in the same month. So we had one on October 3rd, and now we are having one today, October 31st, on Halloween. Um, what makes the moon so powerful, the energy so powerful, is there are so many uh, events, so many holidays and celebrations occurring during this weekend from October 31st all the way till November 2nd. And that is the energy of the full, that's how long the energy of the full moon actually lasts. It lasts from the day that it begins and it usually um, continues for another 24 hours. So we don't just have to, we don't just um, have the availability of this day to manifest. We can manifest today, tomorrow, and the next day. So please guys, use this energy and get what you want it's there the universe is giving it to us please use it okay all right um next thing is the what makes also makes this moon powerful is that it falls in the zodiac sign of taurus um taurus energy is usually sustainable durable um practical grounded um luxurious <laughs> um, just longevity anything that you want lasting in your life anything that you want really solid in your life um, I would suggest that you do it use it use your energy for use the energy today for that okay so it's great for manifesting a good job that lasts for years um, starting a new company that you want to last for beyond the first year um, getting a long-term love relationship um, losing weight permanently and keeping it off or keeping this weight that you have maintaining this weight that you have um, it, it, you could think of so many things that you could use it for that I mean don't waste this energy guys don't waste this energy it's here we have to use it we have to manipulate it and use it to manifest what we want okay all right okay so here are just a few ways there are so many ways you can manifest but um, here are just a few ways that I could tell you that any beginner person if you have no clue of what I'm doing you could start out doing this and you don't necessarily have to um, be a witch you don't have to be in any of those religions you can do anything that you want this is just basically science okay <laughs> all right first one first one I'm going to show you and you can choose whatever you want you can combine them all if you want I combine them sometimes sometimes I just do one it depends on my time um, be and my focus that's it that's all it is Okay, first of all, first one we're going to start with, needing nothing. We need nothing for this first one. The first one is 
affirmations, okay? Affirmations are what I, it's like telling the universe, God, your higher source, whomever you worship, whoever you believe in, they, you are telling them what you want, but you have to phrase it in a way like you've already, you've already received it. So you wouldn't say, um, oh, I want a car. I want a car now, God, or I want a car now, universe. No, you would actually phrase it this way because you want to be in a state of already received it, of having already received it. So you're gonna say, I am now thankful now that I've received my new car. And this is how you go about it. You can say that one phrase as many times throughout the day as you want, every single day if you want, until the car comes, okay? Um, I usually do my affirmations um, when I'm taking a shower. So in the morning time, I'm in the shower, I'm saying all my affirmations of what I want, whether it's a car, it could be just something as simple as you want um, a raise, a promotion, you want a new makeup foundation or anything, anything that you want, anything. It could be something of non-monetary value. It could just be anything, okay? You want a new boyfriend? I'm now thankful now that I have the new love of my life and he is so loyal to me. You say what you want to say and you can elaborate on it. You tell them what you want, okay? But you have to tell them in a gratitude kind of sense where you have already received it and now you're telling them that you're grateful for it, okay? <laughs> so that is the first thing. Second thing where we also don't need any objects at all, okay, is visualization, okay? Visual visualization is when you were a kid and you daydreamed about that item that you wanted for Christmas. And didn't you get it for Christmas? Because this is what kids do. Kids have that natural visualization technique because they don't have any boundaries. They don't have any limits. So kids usually get, get what they want because they just, they, their imagination is so wide, okay? So visualize what you want. And I'm not just talking okay, I want this car, so I'm visualizing the car on the shop floor. No, 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 we're taking it a step further, okay? Where are you gonna park the car? Do you have a space in your driveway that you're gonna park the car? Visualize the car there, okay? Visualize the color of the car there. What type of car do you want? What model car do you want? Okay, visualize it in the spot. You're gonna be parking it every single day. Visualize yourself. Sometimes when you're actually in the driveway, visualize yourself like you're, the car is already there and you're walking up, the, walking up to the car to get into the car, okay? This is how we do it. <laughs> this is how I've done everything that I've done. And this is how I've received everything that I've manifested, okay? Sometimes when I'm listening to music, whether it's with a headphone or in the, um, through the radio or anything, sometimes just listening to music, I close my eyes for a few seconds and I visualize myself sitting in the car and the music from the speakers in the car are coming, are playing. Like, that's what I'm listening to. And this just takes me on a whole other level. I actually feel like I'm in the car, okay? Just visualize you're driving your usual route um, in your neighborhood. How do you get to work? What's your usual route to work or to the grocery store or anything, drop the kids off or anything? Visualize yourself, just close your eyes. You can, and you could do these things anywhere, okay? Visualize for a second where you're gonna take this car to. Where, what, where are the places that you always wanted to go and you couldn't go because you didn't have this car? Now visualize that and then you just close your eyes, think about those places and feel what it feels like when you're at those locations. And this 
is it like that's a technique like that's it guys okay all right great we're on a great track you understand what i'm saying right okay great <laughs> next technique is journaling journaling or petitioning okay so i purchased this small little journal from the dollar store i think it was at it from the dollar tree a very long time ago and i purchased it for a dollar of course nothing special about it. it's just a journal um you could use any book that you want or what you have you could use any school exercise book composition book anything that you want um i had a journal um that i used years ago that i created that i crafted that journal so i i got a composition book and i bought all these stickers and i glued them and all sorts of glitter stuff and all sorts of things were on the whole cover i made it my own so you don't necessarily have to have a journal to journal okay if you don't even have a composition book if you have paper okay those regular printing paper you take a bunch of them take like maybe 10 sheets fold it in half you could staple it get a marker crayon anything that you have and start personalizing the front that's all you have to do that's it that's your journal it's that it's that easy okay i don't make excuses when i'm doing my magic okay <laughs> all right with the journal in the front i put my name my full name and my date of birth okay you just open the page the first page i already have stuff here in front so that's why i'm not showing you but you open the the front page and you put again this is how we in, when you're manifesting you have to write it like you've already received it okay so you're gonna put I am thankful now that and you put whatever it is I have received my new car you, you see me keep saying my new car this is my little this is another way of manifesting is because I keep telling the universe this like hey I'm winking at you new car hey <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <laughs> okay now that I've received my new car now that I've received my new iPhone now that I've received my new whatever it is that you're out there receiving it could be earrings okay it, it could be anything that you want anything is limitless there is no limit to what you can ask for on this um, in it with these rituals you could do whatever you want okay I would suggest that if you're just starting out start out small so that you can actually believe that this thing works because you starting out you might ask oh well let me get my own private jet okay it it will work it might not work right now it might take a few years to work okay so during those years when it's trying when it's molding and prepping to manifest you might lose the idea that this thing works you you might just give up on magic okay so i would suggest that you start start small start with just earrings i like those earrings on um what that i saw on amazon and i want those earrings they cost 10 bucks write that down i am now thankful now that i've received those gold earrings that's it and watch and see if you don't receive those earrings very quickly okay <laughs> all right <laughs> And that is journaling and you can elaborate on the whole thing you could say oh when I wore these earrings to to um, the party everyone commented on how they look so gorgeous everyone asked me where they were where I got them um, everyone just loved me in these earrings you can elaborate on the whole thing create a whole story that's what magic is it's your intention and your visualization it's your affirmations it's your journaling everything combined it's just your energy put in one to get what you want that's it okay other technique final technique that we have 
we're not trying to make this a long video. <laughs> Candle magic. This is how I actually started out was with can candle magic. Everything else came afterwards. Every other technique came afterwards. I started with candle magic. Okay, though I don't do it as often as it anymore because I'm great at visualizing now, but I, I started out with candle magic. Okay, first thing we need is a candle. You could use pretty much any size candle. This is what I could find very quickly for this video, <laughs> but I have other candles. You could use tea light candles. You could do use the larger tapered candles. You could use the glass, the um, glass jar candles, what they call like five day and seven day candles. You could use anything you want. The more energy you put into this, the more, the more energy you'll be putting out there to receive that again, okay? This is just a regular candle. It burns in about, I would say maybe about two, anywhere from two to four hours it burns out, okay? So my candle is already cleansed. I used um, some Florida water and on a piece of paper towel and I cleanse it off. I ask that it be cleansed. And this is how I do my candle magic. Simple, quick, easy. You can do more as you go along, but this is how I do it. I'm using, oh, can you see it? Yeah, an old bobby pin. And the end, I, I took off the, the rounded edge, so it's now sharpened right there. And I hold the candle like this, and I start writing my name. I carve my name into the candle, my full name. I carve my full name, my date of birth, and then I write what I want. I am now thankful now that I've received this new car. That's it. This is optional. If you don't have this, it's not, it, it's, it's still gonna work, but this is optional. This is just adding more energy to what you're doing. Because the more energy you add to something, the more you're gonna receive, okay? Or the faster it will be, or the, better the outcome will be, okay? It doesn't mean that you need a whole bottle of this because all you need is just a little, a little it's, it's the idea of what you're adding to the ritual. It's not necessarily more of the physical object, okay? So this is what I do, simple. This is my oils. I purchased this from a fellow YouTuber. I might leave a link somewhere or something or, yeah, I don't know. But I've used her oils for a few years now and I love them. I love the smells and they work great for me. So this is what I do. Shake it up. Cover it. I know this looks weird. <laughs> and I <laughs> anoint this candle with this oil. It's not a lot, and I just dab the rest all over me because I mean, I need this too. <laughs> okay. And then you burn it, okay? You put it on a plate. You put it on a plate, like a glass plate, a small glass plate, and you light the candle. And during that time, for added effort, for added benefit, I would suggest that you visualize what you're doing while the candle's burning, at least for five minutes. I mean, you have five minutes for yourself. Visualize what you want. You're asking for a car, sit there while the candle's burning and picture the car in your head. You could write a piece of peti petition paper, like this one right here. I am now thankful that, and you fill it in with whatever you want, and you put your name on it, your date of birth, put it underneath the candle, underneath the plate the candle continue can, continues to burn that's it okay for added effect for added energy after you've burned the candle and you still have this petition paper fold it towards you turn it fold turn fold I put it over the back I have 
these little bags got them from a dollar store as well if you don't know if you don't see them at the dollar store they're online they're on amazon they're they're everywhere they i think they're called i don't even remember what they're called just type in little baggies or something little drawstring bags <laughs> and you this is your petition paper with whatever you ask the universe for put it in there draw the thing if you're a female like me <laughs> if you're a male if you're a male you could put it in your pocket you could put it in your wallet your purse your handbag take it with you okay this is called a mojo bag by the way okay and you take it with you and you keep it with you until you get that car or whatever you asked for okay i'm I'm grateful that you guys are here with me. I'm grateful that you guys have watched this video. I hope you learned something. And please, please don't let this energy go to waste. I beg of you, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, I just ask that you guys like, share, subscribe, and comment. Comment anything. Comment anything on the video. Tell me, tell me what you're doing this weekend. Did you dress up like me? <laughs> Did you dress up like me? Do you love dressing up? Um, tell me what you're doing. Are you going out? You got a guy? What you doing? What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye for now. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. <laughs>